Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today it's another modding related video and this one's a little bit of a fun one to go over. So in celebration of my cottagecore mod video hitting 100,000 views, I decided that we would jump back on and showcase some more of the best cottagecore mods for Stardew. If you know me, cottagecore is my favorite kind of category to have in the game. Like literally all my par things, my fences, the way that my town looks, the way that my farm looks and everything. It's very cottagecore inspired. In any game if I can have a cottage core vibe I will so I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the cottage core mod video as much as I had fun making it and it was really really awesome to go back and have a look at some of the new stuff that has come out for Stardew Valley because you guys are also on the same page with cottage core mods we just all love it before we get further on into the video here is a quick disclaimer a little bit of information regarding all of our modding related content so first of all all of these mods are downloadable through Nexus mods Nexus mods is a really amazing site it also showcases and has most of the mods that you'll find for Stardew Valley on there. Additionally, as of March 2024, the 1.6 update is out. This update has definitely affected mods, and I know that a lot of creators are slowly working on getting some of these mods updated. I cannot confirm or deny if the mods that I'm showcasing in this video will work with 1.6, solely because most of these mods will need a backing mod, such as a content patcher, the updated Smappy, or something like alternate textures. Simply because sometimes an old mod might work with an updated content patcher, and as much as I want to test all of these mods out, my poor little computer cannot handle it. So just make sure that when you download your mods and open them up in your Smappy that you quickly check to see any mods highlighted in red. And you can also check out this incredible website, smappy.io, which will show you a newer version of the mod if this one is no longer compatible. And then also if you wanna keep up to date with your mods, just make sure to check out these purple ones here, which means that you can update them. And lastly, I will be listing all of the mods that I showcase in this video in the description below. I've broken them up into timestamps of the categories and then timestamps for all of the mods as well. If there was a particular one that you liked, you can see where the timestamp is and then the link right next to it. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's get back to the video. As always, I have everything separated into a few different categories and I have got five to go over with you guys today and there are lots and lots of mods to cover. So to start us off with, we have our buildings and interiors related mods. We then jump into all of our clothing related mods. Up next, we touch base on craftables and tools. We then head into some furniture related stuff and then I have our miscellaneous category. And before we get into this, I do wanna say I already have so many mods listed here, but there was still so many more to do. So of course, if you want to see some more cottage core mods, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's get on into it and start this amazing list of mods. So starting us off strong in our buildings and interiors category, we have the medieval tiny shed. So this is a standalone seasonal medieval shed that is in a smaller size that you can go and purchase from Robin. You can then also go and upgrade it to have a larger interior, which will be the normal size of the shed but I feel like we just like everything cute and petite. <laughs> the shed has more accurate ambience lighting and it will become slightly darker inside when it is raining outside and also really dark when it is nighttime unless you have some light sources placed around. I absolutely love the little attention to detail. I overall love the exteriors of this mod and I love the smaller space. I really struggle filling up my shed so I'm really obsessed with these looks of sheds because they're a bit smaller and I'll have a little bit of a nicer decoration placed to them. And I also thought it was kind of a cute note that the big Bigger size shed is called the TARDIS shed because it's still small on the exterior but then you've got the larger interior. I thought it was a neat little note. Up next with the same vibe by the same creator we have the medieval tiny greenhouse. This again is just a standalone seasonal medieval greenhouse that you can purchase from Robin. It can hold 30 crops and about eight fruit trees at max. Again it has that same subtlety of the more accurate ambience lighting where if it's raining it's a bit darker and at nighttime it's darker as well. Overall I love the smaller vibe to it. Again, and I think we're just a sucker for anything small and cute. But I also really like the slight interior changes for every season. I also love the fact that we can build a greenhouse at any point of the year instead of really working hard just to get the greenhouse that we have. So it does kind of encourage and allow you to grow crops at any seasons. But I feel like it's still very beneficial to be getting your greenhouse from the community center or Jojo's, however you want to do it. But overall, I absolutely love how this looks. It is so cute and nice. I just, I'm obsessed. I can't. And I feel like this creator needs their own video because I have a 
third one from them and this is the medieval themed sheds mod so i'm obsessed with this one because it is a medieval themed shed but in the style of gwen who made the wayback pelican town and also medieval farm buildings mods that i use for my games the really cool thing about this one is that the sheds are changeable and you can have different looking themes to it so for instance you can have an animal themed shed or a coffee themed shed you can get like a tea themed shed your gem themed sheds and so much more there's even a fishing shed which i think is just super super cute i absolutely love that you can change the exteriors of your sheds to sort of fit in more with your theme and it is all very achievable just by using a paint bucket in the game i love this idea because when i first played stardew all i saw sheds being used for were for kegs and preserves jars and that was kind of it but now as i'm playing it more and like getting to experiment with my sort of style of decorating i'm not using my sheds all the time for that and sometimes i just want to have a shed with some more space on the inside to plant some things or put chests or put some animal products and stuff so i really love the idea that i can reflect that on the exterior it is a gorgeous gorgeous mod and goes really well together with the last two up next on the list i thought this one was cute we have the berries kitty shipping bin so this pretty much adds in a little kitty cat that hangs out in your shipping bin and there are several different cats to choose from it's just one of those cute and subtle changes to the shipping bin where it changes the color of the bin but also adds in a little feline friend for you up next on our list we have the cottage core walls and floors mod this is a really amazing cute and simple walls and floor mod that goes with all of your cottage core needs it gives you seven different wallpapers two stone type wallpapers two hyper detailed wallpapers which is one with bees and dandelions and mushrooms and the other has snails on it which i thought was really cute there are also three cute wallpapers five tile wallpapers and one delicate wallpaper with various different like trims and aesthetics on it but it doesn't end there because you have the floor options and these include various different sort of vertical and diagonal wood tone planks you've got some diamond shaped tiles you also have various different carpets and so much more it is overall a really cute mod and really helps to bring your interior cottage core vibes to life that can pair up nicely with some furniture that we will definitely be discussing later up next on the list we have the tanga log buildings now tanga does a lot of incredible mods and really nice gorgeous styles so definitely check them out in general but this is a really gorgeous sort of creamy and muted down tone look as a log building for your house. It also does change all of your farm buildings, your greenhouse, your mill, your clocks, and all that sort of stuff. Overall, I really love this one and I love how it looks. Up next, I thought this one was a really neat one. We have the Milnificent collab. So this is essentially based off of the original mod, which is Milnificent, which is a better mill mod. This one, however, was a collab between several different creators, which I thought was really neat. And it gives you a few different styles of mills that you can have in your game. So you've got a really cute shy kitty one one. you've got like this really gorgeous pink one and so many more options again you just need to use a little paint bucket tool and you can change your meal to look however you want but i love these sort of mods where there's multiple options that you can choose one or two from and change it as you go up next on this list we have the dark wood kitchen mod this is just as it sounds this is a dark wood tone farmhouse kitchen replacement to make your kitchen look very very gorgeous this one would pair so well with the cottage core walls and floors one that we just covered and overall i'm obsessed with how how this particular kitchen looks just the gorgeous muted toned down vibes to it i love it it's so nice <laughs> and lastly for our buildings and interiors mod this is one that i have recently installed and it is really really nice but this is prettier interior this essentially changes the interior for all of the town houses shops and stuff it gives it some more clutter more atmospheric decoration and is overall just so pretty again i'm such a fan of the original game style but i prefer a more muted down look and this fits in so well with all of the recolors and yeah it literally changes every single interior for all of the npc's houses for all of the shops and more i am obsessed with how this one looks <laughs> so that was it for our buildings and interiors mod we are on to our next category which is clothing now this one was really hard to narrow it down so i do have plans for just a clothing mod video in general because there are so many but i did have to pick a few so starting us off strong we have sh's cottage core set this is a really nice mod that adds in multiple recolorable cottage core vibe accessories hats shirts skirts and sleeves to your game i am absolutely obsessed with the different looks and vibes and colors for this one and just in general the different kind of options that you can choose from and customize to your own needs it is a really fun little mod up next on this list we have yomi's retro colored dress mod so this gives you a couple of different dresses that you can have in your game in this sort of nice retro colored vibe i know that it says retro and not cottagecore but i really feel like these outfits go with that cottagecore vibe and overall i'm just 
just obsessed with the different kind of options and customization that you can give to your little character. We love how this one looks. Continuing on for these really cute fashion mods, we have the animal backpacks mod. Need I say more? So this gives you the option of a couple of different really cute bunnies. You've got an elephant and even a cat that you could have as a backpack for your character. I just thought this was so neat and so cute. I don't know about you, but I loved the idea of having like a big bear backpack when I was younger. And now that I have adult money, I definitely have maybe bought some cute backpacks like that. <laughs> but overall, it's just a really fun vibe and I love the different colors and different kinds of animals that you can get for it. Up next, we have Grace's Farm Clothing Collection. So while this only has a couple of options, I do think that these options are so cottagecore and so gorgeous. <laughs> so it gives you a collection of four overalls in purple, blue denim, black, and sea green. It also gives you four brand new hats, a sea green headband, a purple headband, a pastel flower crown, and a morning glory flower that you can pop into your farmer's hair. I love how these ones look. I'm a sucker for a good overall. And I also love that there are some pant and skirt options and love how the colors look with the little headbands and everything. It just all ties it in together. Up next, we have the witchy rustic looks. It's a really cute mod. Gives you a little bit of a Victorian and rustic clothing vibe that you can add to your character. It gives you six different hats, four shirts, two skirts, and one new accessory. I love how this looks. And again, I just love the different kind of customization that everyone can choose for their sort of characters in the game because there are so many different kinds of options to mix and match from. I love it. And I love how this one looks. Continue. Continuing, I thought this one was really neat, but we have a colorful rabbit headband. This gives you a couple of different headband options in some different colors of these really cute little bows that when you put on, looks like little rabbit ears. So there's ones that point to the side, that ones that point straight up, they're a little floppy. And I just really love how it is because it's very much so more like a headband mod, but it does give you the subtle look of a little bit of some bunny ears. Up next, there were so many from this character, so it was really hard to even pick one, but this is Luoli's top and skirt mod. And this is number three. Three. So this gives you a couple of different top and skirt options in this really nice blue, it's really nice sort of green and orange colors. I really love how these look. And again, customization's endless. And lastly, for our clothing mods, it was weird ending it because there were so many to choose from, but we have the seasonal hats mod. I loved this one because I love any seasonal change that we can have in the game. So this one adds in a ton of new hats into the game. You have various berets to choose from, flower crowns, straw hats, trapper hats, as well as a winter beanie. And not only that, there are various different colors or flower options or vibes to choose from. I think my favorites are the straw hats for summer, but I also am obsessed with the little berets that you can get in fall. Just in general, I love the different options that you can get and, you know, pairing these up with other sorts of fashion mods, you can have all those different customization options. That was it for our clothings category. Again, it would have been never ending. So expect a video on clothing mods at some point soon. <laughs> but we're gonna head into our next category, which is our craftable and our tools. So starting us off, I'm really sorry if I mispronounce your name, but we have our Laurier's Spring Cottage Core Tools Recolor. This is a really pretty mod that changes the tool set in the game and gives you these really gorgeous cottage core and flowery vibes. I've never really delved into sort of tool recolor mods, but I do really love the changes that this creator has made to these tools to make it really nice and toned down, add these cute little yellow flowers and more. I am absolutely obsessed with how these look. And as well, I love how it looks with all of the upgraded tools. Up next, this one I'm getting like now. It is so cute, but we have the butter churn mod. This is a brand new single crafting machine that makes butter. I absolutely love the vibe for this. So to make the butter, you just have to get milk from either your cows or your goats. And it comes with five brand new artisan goods that can be crafted, which is your butter, large butter, goat butter, large goat butter, and then also iridium butter. You can buy the butter churn from Robin for only 1500 gold, and it takes around 300 in game minutes for each of these items to craft. I am so obsessed with the idea of this because again, why did we not have butter in the game? Concerned Ape, can we have butter base game? Thank you. Up next on the list, we have the animated bird tappers. So this changes how the tappers look in your game and it makes them into these really cute little birds that are just hanging out on trees. There are a couple of different options and as well, you just need a paint bucket to make the changes to these, but you've got some different birds napping on sort of little bowls, looking different directions, as well as you've got some birds just hanging out and pecking the tree. I love not only the different colors that you can get, but the different bird options. You can get a crow hanging out. You can also get an owl there. I love the gorgeous 
just look to this and the changes that we can make to the tappers. And again, jumping onto a mod by the same creator, this one is the animated frog pots. This one changes our nasty looking little crab pots into these really cute frogs that are just hanging out on lily pads. Again, you just need to get a paint bucket to change how these ones look. And I love the few different options that we can get color wise for it. I don't know, I think this is just the mod. Having little frog pots is such a cute idea. Up next on this list, continuing strong, we have a vintage chest retexture mod. This just gives a simple chest retexture. This just gives it this really nice vintage look to it with a couple of new textures on it. This is a really, really gorgeous one, especially if you've got some sort of interior and furniture mods, or you wanna go really nice and decorate a shed. It really just fits in so subtly, and I'm obsessed with how this one looks. Up next on the list, we have very cute craftables. So this changes all of the craftables in your game to these really cute muted down sort of brown color, but also cute bear looking ones. And just overall, I'm obsessed with how these look. I love the look of the keg that's now in the shape of a heart, your furnace with the little bear shape on the front, and even your tappers that also have a little bear picture on front. I do love that it's not a huge change to how the craftables look, so you can still see what you're using in the game, but I love the changes that the creator has made. Coming in next, we have Nano's Garden Style Craftables. So this is a retexture for all of the craftables that kind of has a little bit more of an outdoor theme to it, and of course has got lots of flowers and overgrown cottagecore vibes. There are a few different color options as well for each of the retextures, and I love the different vibes that you can just go with it. You can go for one color or the other, you can get flowers or no flowers. It is just a really gorgeous mod, and I do love that there are several different options that we get to choose from. Coming up next, we're almost at the end of this part, I swear, but we have the Forest Wood Craftables. So this is inspired by one of Tanga's mods, which is a forest building mod, and it gives these really gorgeous look to the craftables that have got these gorgeous overgrown leaves to them. It's really interesting seeing how everyone takes sort of a retexture craftables mod and puts it into their own, but I really love how these ones look, and again, the subtle different changes that we can get. And overall, in general, I think that this mod works so well with all sorts of retextures and a lot of the mods that I've already explained in this video. And lastly, for this list, we have the Chocolate Brown Craftables Recolor Mod. So this changes all of the craftables to this really gorgeous chocolate brown color, which is a deeper brown than what we get in the game. This creator also has a couple of different like furniture, walls, and kitchen interior mods so that you can just have one big aesthetic and one sort of ongoing color vibe. I do really like the subtle changes to this one. And I just like this shade of brown a lot more than the ones that we get in the base game. <laughs> that was it for our craft tools and tools mods. We are over halfway from this video, I promise. But we're gonna get straight on into our furniture mods. And starting us off strong from this category, we have cottage core beds. So this adds in a brand new set of five cottage core beds. These different sort of pattern blankets on it, sort of messiness, and even one with a plant on it. I do really like not only the changes to the like bed sheets for it, but also the bed frames, pillows, and just the gorgeous color colors that go with it. Up next, we have Hearth and Home. This is a sort of cozy and retro furniture pack. I do also want to say this is a little bit of like an older furniture style back from, I want to say maybe the 80s or 90s. It's got all these really gorgeous different color options to choose from, changes how all of the base game furniture looks. And overall, you've just got so many different options that you can choose from when it comes to all of the furniture, like your chairs, your bed, paintings, decorations, all that sort of stuff. I'm so obsessed with how this stuff looks. And there are just so many different options options to choose from. Coming in next, I think I'm also going to butcher this creator's name and I'm very sorry, but this is Guxel Bits Furniture Mod. This is a furniture pack that is in the vanilla style that gives really incredible different changes to all of your base game furniture. All you need to do is go and buy that paint bucket and you can make these changes to things like your coffee table, your dresser, your bookcase, and even some paintings. You've also got some different sort of clutter options, which I really like. And I just love the various different options that you can get with this mod. It's very nice one especially if you don't really want to go ham on a furniture mod but you do want to change what some of your furniture looks like. Up next we have seasonal open windows. So this gives you open windows that you can pop into your house that changes with the seasons. It gives you five different swatches to pick and choose from. It gives you these really gorgeous views outside and then gorgeous little curtains to pop on the windows as well. I love how this one looks. It's a lot better than the base game windows that's for sure. <laughs> and lastly on this list we have the greenhouse set. So this is a small greenhouse furniture and wallpaper pack that you can build your own 
your greenhouse at home. So make some changes to a couple of the base game furniture items. It gives you six different walls and six different floor options and changes how your garden pot looks as well. Again, I probably feel like a broken record, but I do really love the different customization that you can do because it's not just one option overhaul. It is various different things that you can change it to. And overall, I love an overgrown planty look in the house. So I love that we can bring these vibes to the game and as well make them all match together. That was it for our furniture packs. We are onto our last category for this video. And this is our miscellaneous category. I will say that most of these are interfaces, but I do have one which we're going to start off with, which I think is one of the best mods I found in a while. And this is called Bread Lovers. So this is a mod that adds in brand new recipes, items, craftables, and a bread oven to the game. It also adds in a brand new bakery store, which includes a character by the name of Giselle, who is Gus's niece and she will come in and run the shop. Some hidden features are that the bakery will change each season. You can get some recipe ingredients and machines that are just sold there. And of course brings in Giselle, which is a new NPC. However, she does not have any dialogue and is not giftable at the moment, but she does run the bakery. I absolutely love how this one looks. I don't know why we never had a bakery in the game to start off with, but I do love the different items that we can get and different options to make bread. It is a very neat and nifty mod and you definitely need it. Coming up next, we have Fall UI. This is a really nice interface mod that changes the UI to this red and brown vibe that is featuring all of the full themes. So this one does change up quite a lot of stuff. So you've got your load up screen and title screen that change, your user interface, it changes the special order board, the calendar, the billboard, also changes letters and a few other things. I really love the overgrown leaves vibe to it. And I think that we can all agree that fall is the season for the cottage core girlies. Up next on the list, almost at the end, but we have the natural accent interface mod. So this has a very desaturated soft feel to the game when you load it up and again changes all of the things like your help wanted board your calendar your user interface and more i love the leaves added to it and the color that it's got and it's a really gorgeous natural accented interface and lastly on this list this is the one that i actually use for my games and this is the natural dark wood interface this gives you a really gorgeous dark brown interface and again this changes everything the starting screen your user interface the help wanted board and so much more. It does also give in some other minimal tweaks and the creator is sussing out some future compatibility with mobile. So you Android besties don't sleep on this one. I can't believe it, but that is it for some more cottage core mods for your game. Let me know in the comments below as always, which mods you're planning to install, which ones were your favorites. And of course, some ones that I missed. I do want to say another huge thank you so much for supporting my videos and for getting us to hundred K on the original cottage core mod video. That is absolutely insane. Anyway, besties, if you aren't already make sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified for my next uploads and i will catch you guys on the next one bye everybody